Good morning folks, it's Ken Ring of www.predictweather.com It's the 16th of August and the moon will be in Scorpio, sign of Scorpio, up there until tomorrow afternoon. Scorpio, you know, it's the thing with the sting and it's traditionally a fairly wet, squally sign with a whole lot of rain about it. Well, that's kind of what we've had. You know, it's kind of like flooding rain. That's the old Scorpio sign for you. And um, things are getting a bit less now. Things are easing off because the tides are going down. They've been the highest over the uh, past few days because of the new moon and the perigee, close perigee, and the um, crossing of the equator. And that's brought a whole lot of water into, um, into rivers and then stopped it getting away. And with the rain that's come, uh, with the increased turbulence, you know, that's caused the flooding. Um, it's not the only thing that's caused the flooding, but it's the main thing, and uh, that's starting to dissipate. So um, I expect things to, as I say, get a bit cooler because the moon is so far south, um, and I expect it to dry up a bit until some more rain, uh, well, in Auckland anyway, where I am here later in the week, and possibly snow in the high country, that's further down the island, and more rain arriving next weekend as well, uh, also snow in the mountains then and uh, at the moment um, um, as I say the flooding will be dissipating uh, and that's all around the world so um, if you have flooding where you are you can you can expect that to, to pretty quickly ever away. Um, we have the first quarter moon coming up on Tuesday and uh, that, bring, that means any rain that's about well it'll mainly fall in the morning uh, so we could be having some dry afternoons to look forward to over this week. Uh, the, the first quarter moon is when the moon is out of the sky in the morning, comes back into the sky after lunchtime. And of course the rule is when the moon is in the sky above the horizon, it's less likely to rain. You should write that on your shed wall, you should write that um, above your computer so that you remember it's a really good rule. Uh, moon above the horizon less likely to rain. Well, it's quite good fishing too from Monday to Wednesday if you're lucky enough to be a fisherman and if you're a gardener, well from now until Wednesday is a good time to plant things that go above the ground because the moon's energies are ascending and uh, it's you know the best time of the month actually if you're in the southern hemisphere to be doing that uh, because not only are the, is the moon ascending towards the southernmost point down here but it's also waxing as well on its way to a full moon. If you're a northern hemisphere gardener though you'll have to wait a few more days for that until Friday the 20th this coming Friday until the following Tuesday the 24th so there's about four days there to get the most benefit out of that one because the moon for you will be both ascending and waxing then and its energies will be going up for you as well. So, uh, you know, if you're planting flowers or vines, not so much uh, important for planting uh, root crops, but things that are wanting to come up and out of the ground and sort of go out with like that. Well, just a word for uh, about a blog now coming up. Um, I'll be talking about jet streams. I've been asked about this, and uh, so uh, I'm just getting it organised in my mind at the moment. Um, jet streams, what they are and why they have been responsible for the recent heat wave in Russia, for the floods in Pakistan, for the cooler conditions um, over the east coast of Australia and for the milder weather in the North Island uh, of New Zealand that we've had recently. So it's an interesting yarn, it's all to do with the moon of course, but um, <laughs> you won't hear it from anyone else except me and uh, that's coming up later in the week. So thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again.